Hello teacher, welcome to our class. In this video, we are going to learn about geographical location of the Philippines and its natural resources. Well, of course, we have already encountered these lessons in our previous years, especially during our elementary and high school. And what happens in this video is just we are just going to review these lessons. Okay, so let's start with this one. You know, um, Philippines is also known as, you know, um, a country of, uh, it's more, yeah, Philippines is known with the tagline that um, it's more fun in the Philippines, okay? So, according to Donald Lim, fun is not a perfect word to describe uh, the Philippines, but it is the best word simple enough for all Filipinos play around with and share with everyone around the world. Like, kasi nga, di ba, um, Filipinos are not known to be um so uh, happy people. They are very accommodating, especially to the foreigners. They always try their best to speak in English, even though they cannot um uh, fluently speak the language. But in order for them to accommodate, to become hospitable to the foreigners, um, we always give our best to... um to accommodate them yes and um according as mga ano sa mga um foreigners kahit saan sila nakatingin all filipinos are smiling of course um it also in um it could also be um what do you call this one in uh, associated with our different festivals here in the philippines which con connotes fun okay so next is Medyo naghang yung laptop. Okay, for a while. Okay, sige. So, let's talk about the, um, what is the geographical or the physical features of the Philippines. So, of course, um, Philippines is just, um, Philippines, you know, basically, Soil is the most important natural resource because um, our Filipinos are known to be, um, you know, inclined with agriculture uh, into farming, right? Um, rice farming, corn farming, and so on and so forth. And agricultural experts believe that 8,120 species of plants grow in the country. Um, and actually, um, Philippines is... You know, there are still lots of virgin, mga natural, mga untouched places, forests here in the Philippines. Okay? Um, lots of flowers, different different flowers, and also um, yung mga forests natin, sabi ko nga, uh, mga, uh, sabi dito nga, oh, um, yung forest natin, dito sa Philippines, sa total land area of 16,633,000 thousand hectares which represents 55 percent of our land area so that's um malaki na siya talaga and so um as for our energy of course it's run by um we have uh maria christina falls like that so parang hindi tayo masyadong um gipit <laughs> when in in terms of electricity, unlike on um, at water, especially water, unlike um in other countries like in Indonesia, so they are suffering um in water shortage so much. No, kaya nga na, sa ngayon nagsisink na sila. Pero luckily for us in the Philippines, very rich tayo in terms of natural resources. That could um actually we can say that um parang nasusuplayan talaga kung ano yung pangangailangan natin. Okay, so yun sabi nga, Philippines is very rich in natural resources. So here are the different um living organisms here in our country. So about 30% of the land area of the country was determined by ge ge geologically perspective by the Philippine Mines and Geosciences Bureau. But only 1.5% of country's land area is covered with mining permits. Um, Dito sa Diwalwal, o, di ba, Mount Tiwata, di ba? So, parang, uh, meron tayo mga mining sites, of course. Pero, medyo, may limit na siya. Unlike before, na very, kanakon kayo, no? Sikat ka, ayun nga. Sige, mina, mina, mina. Para, current, of course, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or the DENR, is trying their best to mitigate the um, future problems that could possibly happen due to this very excessive mining. Okay? So, um, let's talk about the different regions here in the Philippines. 
So, um, Philippines is actually uh, actually have what um, seventeen regions. Okay, we will talk about that later on deeply. So, of course, um, yung Philippines we already know that it's divided into three major uh, uh, lands. Um, the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And so, in Luzon, we have um, Region 1, Region 2, Region 3, Region 4A, Region 4B, Region 5. Okay? And then, um, in Visayas, Region 6, Region 7, Region 8. And in Mindanao, so, there's Region 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, of course. Tapos, meron pang, ano, mga... Uh, sa Luzon, mayroon ding CAR and NCR. Tapos, dito sa Mindanao, mayroon ding ARM. Mayroon Karaga. So, yun siya. But we, anyway, we will talk about that later on. So, of course, um the um, Philippines is, you know, aside from the land resources, we also have different bodies of water. Kasi nga, um, kilala din yung Pilipinas with, you know, um uh, for the famous um, tourist spots, especially the beaches, Arba, sa Boracay, like um, in Chirgao, yeah. And so, we have here um, different rivers mentioned, okay? So, three largest rivers in the country, it's the Cagayan River, Rio Grande de Mindanao, and the Agusan River. Okay, so we also have here, um, yeah, Laguna de Bay, or lakes like that and also the lakes around the Taal volcano and also we have the Maria Cristina Falls and uh, the Pagsanhan Falls like that these are the bodies of water here in the Philippines famous bodies of water um meron pa namang ibang bodies of water but ito yung talaga silang pinakakilala because they have something to do with our um like electricity or something nagko-contribute talaga sila um at saka especially to um uh, Itong um, lake, di ba? Lake sa Batangas, of course, alam natin talaga kasi nga, um, magkatab uh, napapagit na napapagitna dito yung Taal Volcano, okay? So, of course, since mayroon tayong mga bodies of water, also Philippines is very rich with the uh, ano, fishery resources. So, we have corals, pearls, crabs, and seaweeds. Like this one. Anyway, I will just give to you um a copy. Please remind me to give you a copy of this um PowerPoint. Okay. So our forests, yeah. Again, if you again it all, um, sixteen million, all right, hectares, sixteen million. 16,633,000 hectares yung forest, total land area na forest natin. And 60% of these forests are found in Mindanao. So, we are very lucky that we are from Mindanao because we still have lots of um, forest areas here in our island. Okay? So, let's talk about the beauty spots. Of course, Filipinos are known to be La Clachara and this is what we um are looking for most of the time. So, what are the beauty spots found here in the Philippines? So, of course, the Mount Apo in Davao. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but what I've heard is that when you go hiking in Mount Apo, you'll take um three to four days or it could take five days. What's up? Mga, uh, average would be four days to go up into the peak and go back, um, yeah, onto the parang base ng Mount Apo. So, kailangan talaga meron tayong, ano, meron kang hiking um, equipments. Okay? Para hindi ka masyadong mahirapan sa pag-akit doon. Sabi dito, Mount Apo is also known as the grandfather of Philippine Mountains. Siya yung, <laughs> tinawag pa talagang lolo yung, ano, no, Mount Apo. Anyway, para makikita, yung uh, Mount Apo talaga makikita, especially when you go to Digos and to somewhere. Yeah, those parts in Davao del Sur, you'll see um, a view of Mount Apo. Of course, here in Mindanao, we also have the Maria Cristina Falls. Okay, uh, Maria Cristina Falls is also um, called as Twin Falls because of this one. Dalawa siya magkatabi. Okay, so 
We have um, 100 islands in Pangasinan. So, kung sino man sa inyo yung mahilig mag-island hopping, well, you can visit Pangasinan. So, group of islands with, um, it is composed of 124 islands in all if there are, if there's um low tide. But, if there's high tide, oh, kasi yung ano, beauty queen nagsabi ng high tide or low tide. Well, anyway, kapag low, pag high tide naman, syempre, natatakpan yung ano, nasasapawan yung isang island. So, 123 islands lang yung visible. Okay? So, we have here the Puerto Galera. Puerto Galera. Yeah. It's also known for the um, um, beaches because of, I think it's because of the wide, um, a white beach, a uh, white sand. Yeah. It's also um, known for its um, very wide variety, diversity of marine species. So, sino yung mahilig mag-snorkeling? So, andito, punta kayo sa Puerto Galera. Of course, in Bohol, the Chocolate Hills, it's the signature um, tourist spot in Bohol. Parang hindi magiging kompleto yung Bohol trip mo if hindi ka daw nakapunta sa Chocolate Hills. And actually, that's one of my um, um, targets to visit this Chocolate Hills. Okay, so next, ito siya. Masya, malapit ito talaga sa atin. Now, mostly of us siguro nakapag-visit na dito sa Aliwagwag Falls, which is located in Davao Oriental, Philippines. So, it's located in the middle of a tropical rainforest. But I think during the pandemic, parang nagsara, hindi na siya napupuntahan ng mga tao dito. Hindi na tayo na makakaligo ata. Nung nagpunta kami doon, parang, yeah, that, that, that's October. So, close siya. And so, we were just able to um, take a picture on the bridge. Eh, okay naman na yung experience kasi nga makikita naman yung falls na already. Kaya lang hindi ka makaka, uh, makakaligo doon. So, Aliwagog Falls is also known as um, Stairway to the Sky. Kasi nga masyado siyang ano, uh, until pa siguro doon, no? masyadong ano. Dapat siyang hagdan-hagdan, like up to the top yung falls. Okay, so let's talk about Region 1. So, this is Region 1 which is the Ilocos Region. Okay, so here are the mm -hmm, the provinces, Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, La Union, and Pangasinan. So this is Region 1, and this is Region 2, also known as the Cagayan Valley, but composed of Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Quirino. This is, these are the provinces, okay? And so far... Nakapunta na ba ako dito? Wala pa ako napuntahan dito. Okay, Region 3, Central, Lu Central Luzon. So, we have Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zambales. Okay. Next is Region 4A, which is known as the Calabar Zone. Calabar Zone. Okay, si Ka stands for, if you can still remember, Cavite, La, Laguna, Biba, Batangas. Uh, then, Z any zone kezon ayung r pala is rizal so yun siya calabar zone you, region, again region 4 is divided into two region 4a and region 4b region 4a is calabar zone and region 4b is okay, just wait mimaropa mimaropa okay so here's mimaropa um kapag sinabing mimaropa always remember palawan so yung palawan talaga yung largest um island ito sa uh, Mimaropa. Okay, so Marinduca, Occidental Mindoro, Oriental Mindoro, Palawan, and Rumblon. Now is <clears throat> wait just a little while. Okay, next is Bicol. Um, I was able to go to Bicol. So from Manila, from Manila, from Naia, I think um, it will take 8 hours to go to Albay or to ano, Naga City. So, yeah. From, it's the Bicol Region, Region 5, Albay, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, Masbate, and Sorsogon. Ah, mal masya, malayo siya. And then, it's very, um, the roads there, um, yung road niya actually is, ano na po siya? Ang uh, kilid na siya yata dyan sa island, it's because makikita mo na yung parang dagat doon kapag nagta-travel ka along the highway. Para din siya kapag nagta-travel ka um, in like uh, somewhere there in Katiil, di ba? Parang na, na, nadadaanan na din yung um, dagat. Okay? So, next region 6, okay, is the Western Visayas. 
like Aklan, Antique, Capiz, Iloilo, and Gimaras, and Negros Occidental. Then Region 7, Central Visaya, Cebu, and Region 8, Eastern Visaya. So let's just cut the video and let's continue discussing later on. Thank you. Bye.